Sunscreen is a crucial component of skin protection against the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays. Its use is widely recommended to prevent skin damage, to prevent premature aging, and of course skin cancer. However, recent concerns have arisen regarding the presence of carcinogenic substances in some sunscreens. So in this video, I'm going to talk about those concerns and the sunscreen ingredients that are in question and the importance of selecting a safe and effective sunscreen. Sunscreen products work by absorbing, reflecting, or scattering the sun's UV rays, preventing them from penetrating the skin. There's actually two types of UV rays that can cause skin damage. There's UVA and there's UVB. So UVA rays contribute to skin aging, while UVB rays are the primary cause of sunburn. Both types have been linked to skin cancer. Sunscreens, they typically contain a combination of chemical and physical filters to provide broad spectrum protection against both UVA and UVB rays. The primary concern regarding carcinogenic substances in sunscreens stems from certain chemical filters used in many products. These filters can penetrate the skin and enter the bloodstream, raising concerns about their potential impact on overall health. So two of the most controversial chemical filters are oxybenzone and octinizate. Oxybenzone is a widely used chemical filter in sunscreens, but it's been linked to hormone disruption, allergic reactions, and of course its potential to cause cancer. Some studies have suggested that oxybenzone may mimic estrogen in the body, potentially increasing the risk of hormone-related cancers. So hormone-related cancers, the estrogen, that would include things like breast cancer, uterine cancer, and ovarian cancer. You know, as it turns out, there's a lot of chemicals in the environment that can actually bind to the estrogen receptor in our body because our estrogen receptor is actually quite promiscuous in that regard. Octinizate is the other common chemical filter that's found in sunscreens, and like oxybenzone, it's been associated with hormone disruption and allergic reactions. And while the evidence of its potential to cause cancer is less clear, there's still concerns about the possible adverse effects of this ingredient and overall health. In addition to potential health risks, chemical filters like oxybenzone and octinizate have been found to harm coral reefs and other marine life. Now, these chemicals, they can accumulate in the water, contributing to coral bleaching and damaging the marine ecosystem. As a result, some countries and states have banned or restricted the use of sunscreens that contain these ingredients. Mineral sunscreens, also known as physical sunscreens, contain active ingredients like zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. So these minerals, they work by sitting on the skin surface and then they reflect off those UV rays and that's how they offer a broad spectrum protection without the use of potentially harmful chemicals. Mineral sunscreens are generally considered safer for both humans and for the environment. So zinc oxide and titanium dioxide have not been linked to any hormone disruption or any potential to cause cancer and are less likely to cause skin irritation or allergic reactions. Also, mineral sunscreens don't harm coral reefs, making them an environmentally friendly option. When selecting a sunscreen, consider the following factors to ensure that you're choosing a safe and effective product. Also, choose a sunscreen with an SPF rating of 30 or higher. So the SPF rating measures the level of protection against UVB rays with higher values offering more protection. However, keep in mind that no sunscreen can block 100% of UV rays, and it's essential to reapply regularly and follow other sun safety measures. And don't forget to go with the mineral sunscreens that contain zinc oxide and or titanium dioxide. If you're planning on swimming and sweating a lot, choose a water-resistant sunscreen and be sure to reapply after towel drying or every 40 to 80 minutes depending on the product's label. Sunscreens can lose its effectiveness over time, so check the expiration date and replace it if it's expired. Be sure to apply enough sunscreen to cover all the exposed skin and reapply at least every two hours even on cloudy days. And don't forget areas like the ears, the neck, and the tops of the feet. I've made that mistake once and it wasn't pretty. While sunscreen plays a critical role in protecting your skin from the sun, it's important to remember that it should not be your only line of defense. So incorporate additional sun safety measures into your daily routine, such as seeking shade during peak sun hours, typically between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. when the sun's rays are the strongest. And of course, wearing protective clothing if possible, including long sleeve shirts, pants, and wide brimmed hats. Wearing sunglasses with UV protection to shield your eyes from harmful rays, avoiding tanning beds which emit harmful UV radiation and increase the risk of skin cancer. 